Palliative Care Series, CPR Outcomes in Serious Illness, CPR on TV versus Reality. On TV, approximately 70% survival. In reality, approximately 15%, one in six. Surveys reveal people often believe real-life survival after CPR to be greater than 75%, the myth of CPR. But reality tells a different story. Two bioethicists writing in 2017 observed that CPR has acquired a reputation and aura of almost mythic proportions, and that withholding it might seem equivalent to refusing to extend a rope to someone drowning. When CPR is unlikely to work, the red flags that make survival to discharge very unlikely. These include having sepsis the day before the cardiac arrest, a serum creatinine level higher than 1.5 milligrams per deciliter. Needing help with activities of daily living, such as walking, bathing, or feeding, are just some examples. Being hypotensive, low blood pressure, on admission, having metastatic cancer, having dementia, CPR in cancer patients. A large meta-analysis of 42 studies conducted from 1966 to 2005 found that only 6.7% of cancer patients survived to hospital discharge outcomes were better for patients with localized disease at about 9%, but dropped to just 5.6% in those with metastatic cancer, general wards or medical units versus ICU survival. Patients on hospital wards had about a 10% survival to discharge, while ICU patients had survival rates closer to 2%. CPR in dialysis patients. In one study of 74 dialysis patients who underwent CPR, only two, just 3%, were alive at six months, compared to about 9% of non-dialysis controls. AHA 2024 recommendations. The American Heart Association recommends that all hospitalized patients have an advanced directive and that clinicians hold open, honest conversations about prognosis and the likelihood of survival after CPR. When discussing CPR, physicians can explain that about 15%, roughly one in six patients, who undergo CPR in the hospital survive to discharge. Survival chances, however, decrease significantly in the presence of severe comorbidities, the reality of CPR and serious illness. So while CPR can sometimes restart the heart, the reality, especially for patients with advanced illnesses like cancer, dementia, or kidney failure, is that survival is rare and meaningful recovery is even rarer.